You are not depressed. Stop saying that. Yikes. Did Prince EA really just say that? Did he just say that you're not depressed? This video he made got a lot of people upset and one of them being Boy in a Band. So in this video, we're gonna discuss both sides of it and see if we can come to a good conclusion. So stay tuned. What's up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. So Prince EA, this was about a year ago. I know I'm late to the party on this. But about a year ago, he posted this video. It says, you are not depressed, stop it. That is literally the title of this video. And if you have watched my other video uh, about Neil Brennan's um, stand-up special on Netflix, I'll link it in the description up here, um, he talks about how there is a lot of ignorance about depression and people think that it's just a switch that we could turn off and on. And those are ignorant people. And as somebody who struggles with depression, I take offense to that. So when Prince EA said that, there was a big, Big, big backlash, and Boy in a Band made a very good video about it. And what I'm trying to do in this video, I wanna give you a very objective point of view on this because I think there's a lot of stuff lost in communication, and I'm gonna explain why. Now, I'm not gonna go deep into my thoughts on Prince EA in this video. I do have my own thoughts on it, but I think the argument here between the two is a lack of communication, so I'm gonna be the mediator for him. So basically, Prince EA starts his video out again with this. You are not depressed, stop saying that. Here is Boy in a Band's quick response to that. Okay, I'm gonna have to stop you there. No, depression does not always go. See, it looks like you're mixing up this Wikipedia page with this one. Depressed can be a mood like sadness or frustration, but depressed can also refer to major depressive, freaking a major depressive disorder. A mental disorder people are genetically predisposed to. All right, who's right and who's wrong? Now, I will link to both of these videos down in the description below, but here's the thing. Here's the thing with Prince EA, and here's what I try to do differently with my channel. Prince EA is a meditator. He meditates. He meditates a lot. Um, he has a, a weird past, if any of you uh, know about his past being a rapper, and a lot of people bring that up. But anyways, um, I don't know if he's somewhat enlightened now or whatever, but he meditates, okay? And here's what I try to explain to people that you know might confuse you if you don't meditate. People who meditate, they kind of they they kind of have their own their own language and it's it's a little bit different and it's not like you know like some weird like alien language it's just some of these things sound weird and they sound kind of crazy like that's the issue with this video a lot of people thought he sounded nuts um, one of the examples I give is is Jim Carrey. Like all the stuff that's been going on with Jim Carrey and some of his interviews lately, like people are like this dude has lost his mind. But as somebody who practices meditation and I'm really into Buddhist philosophy, like what Jim Carrey says, it pretty much makes sense to me. But anyways, Boy in a Band is absolutely right. Depression is a legitimate mental illness. I've done plenty of other videos on it. I explained the science of depression. I explained the lack of certain neurotransmitters in the brain that are responsible for depression. Now, what Prince EA is talking about is what we do with a meditation practice. And my issue with Prince EA is, is that he never talks about meditation. Like, okay. I said I wasn't gonna you know, judge him too bad, but here's one thing I'm judging him on. He never really talks about meditation practices. Like, he tries to put on this persona that all of these things are very original that he's coming up with. But for anybody who is a meditator, like this is just like very well-known things that he's talking about. It's nothing crazy. So in a meditation practice, you learn to watch your thoughts rather than being swept away by them. So when Prince EA is making his analogy of the clouds or he did something that upset people, he holds up a little remote control and says, look, this is your depression, now it's gone. And that seems nuts. But what he's talking about is sitting back and watching these depressive thoughts. This is something I've talked about in other videos, which is called non-identification, all right? So what the problem is with anxiety, with depression, and all these other things is that we identify so closely with them that we we get swept away by them, okay? So what Prince EA is talking about is saying that you, your physical self, your idea of self, you are not your depression. Depression is a part of you, but you are not that depression. Something that um, we talk about is with meditation, rather than being in the movie, being in the thoughts, you're able to sit back and watch the movie, okay? I hope that analogy helps out just a little bit. 
Now, in my response to Boy in a Band, like Boy in a Band did a great job. He did a lot of research. He also reached out to a lot of professors and psychologists and things like that. Now, some things that I'll make very clear for you. Science has proven time and time again in multiple studies, I will link to some articles down below, that meditation reduces depression. One study found that 40 minutes, 40 minutes of, of meditation every single day is as beneficial as the best antidepressant medications out there. They see the same neurobiological changes in the brain that antidepressants have. So meditation is a legitimate practice for anybody who struggles with depression. Other studies have shown that people who regularly meditate, even for five minutes a day, that's right everybody, I said five minutes a day, people who meditate for five minutes a day have more activity in the part of the brain responsible for positive thoughts. So if you're somebody who struggles with depression, think about that for a second. So meditation is a genuine solution to symptoms of depression. It might not be a complete cure-all, but the relationship to depression changes. This is why I talk about it a lot on my channel and why I teach it to my clients who struggle with depression. All right, so in the future, I will do a more in-depth video on my thoughts on Prince EA and what's he, what he's doing and stuff because, you know, as somebody who's trying to, um, you know, teach people about mental health as well as meditation. I have some issues with the way he kind of does things. But anyways, like I said, I will link to both the videos down below. I think um, the one that Boy in a Band did was very well done. I just think there was some miscommunication and he doesn't fully understand this meditation practice. And then I'll also link to Prince EA's response in there. Like Prince EA had the perfect opportunity to do what I'm doing and explain what he actually meant. But instead Prince EA made a video said, uh, he made a video like saying like a video to my haters and it's like, come on, dude. Like, you could have had a logical conversation about this and just explained it. But anyways, I hope that clears some things up for all of you. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are new here, make sure you click the little round subscribe button. I'm always making videos to help you out with your mental and emotional needs, all right? Click or tap on one of those thumbnails right there if you wanna check out some of the other videos on this channel. But anyways, this is Chris from The Rewired Soul. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.